Welcome back y'all and thank you for tuning in. My name is Walter and I'm so glad you're here. Uh, today we're going to be working on Boney's OBS Diesel and I think he's wanting to do glow plugs and stuff like that. So I also think he wants to do a battery connector. So I think we're going to be doing that. So let's get started on that right now. So we're going to start off with the glow plugs and I think Boney's already starting on the intake and all that. Yeah, take off the air box here. We're going to do the uh, glow plugs and the harness on this truck. We haven't done them and it's it, it has it's having a hard time starting up. So we're going to switch out all the little like boots or whatever and actual glow plugs. Alright, so this IDI has one of the biggest turbos known to man. Just look at that thing. Dang, it's it's huge. Beast, look at it. Look at that. It will gap any LS out there. Pretty sure I can hold it on my palm. Look at that. Looking like a JDM turbo. Bony's a JDM boy. Partially. All right, so now we're gonna yank out the glow plug harness. That one's easy. That one's hard. That one's easy. There's one more back there. I can't reach. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it. There is one more back there. All right, so y'all, this is why we're doing this. Look at that. This is holding the harness to the glow plug. A little bit of electrical tape. It's not what you want to see on IDI. Alright, so now it is the second day and we ended up calling it quits a little er a little early last night. Uh, it got dark pretty quickly with this whole time change, but uh, this is where we're at. We need to remove the turbo right now and to access all the glow plugs down there. And while we're at it, we're actually be changing out the uh, valve cover gasket because they are leaking, I think on this side. Alright, so here's our dilemma. Initially, we're thinking we needed to take off some really seized bolts off the turbo. So now I'm looking at the manual and it's saying a different thing like it's making it look like way easier than how we're trying to approach this all right so let me show you what i'm talking about so right here i have the service manual and it's showing that to remove the turbo i need to go underneath and separate some crossover pipes i think that's what it is yeah and there's like left and right so i think you re release that part from the bottom and then from the top you just kind of pull the turbo out with the pipe and all but yeah we we're trying to approach it with some uh I think like the downpipe connector, but it's looking like it might have to be approached from the very bottom. It's good news for us. Let me go try that out right now. All right, so I'm underneath the truck, and these are the two bolts I want to show you. That one right there, and the one on the other side of it. And this pipe goes around, and there's another set of two on the other side. We should be able to just loosen those two right here, and then two over there, and then turbo should go up and out. I got this brush right here. I'm going to clean out all these cobwebs here. I'm tired of getting them in my hair right now. So we just took out the crossover pipe, as you can see here. We actually took off a stud off of the uh, passenger side manifold. These bolts are just so rusted and so seized on there. It's taking forever. All right, so that's the wide pipe that you're seeing on camera right now. You see those are the two bolts that need to come out. They're pretty rusted. Should be a, a little challenge to get out, but they're in a pretty easy spot once you take out the uh, crossover pipe. 
and then once those bolts come out, then we should be able just to yank out the uh, turbo after the white pipe comes out. All right, so that concludes this video and we were not successful one bit, but hopefully by the next time y'all see this, uh, we will be successful and we'll have the whole entire job finished. Uh, that down pipe, the Y connector has been really hard to pull out. It's seized, uh, it's old, it's crusty, it's just hot. It's not moving anywhere, right? All right, so for you IDI owners, I will be putting out like a resource and kind of like an in-depth on how to do the whole process uh, from like start to finish. And it'll be more instructional because like I know there aren't many things out there like resources or even like pictures out there on how to do this. So I will be putting that out in a few days. So look forward to that if you're an IDI owner. So if you wanna see more videos just like this one, uh, please subscribe to our channel. We put out two videos a week, one on Monday and then one again on Thursday. Uh, so look forward to that. Yeah.